Guys, today we're going to take a quick look at Devin Booker. This is going to be a redo of my signature shot from 2K21. We're basically porting this to 2K22, so we're going to cover all of the things that change. So this isn't necessarily a six shot short. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a hybrid, but we're, we're going to try and get through this quickly. Um, unfortunately, guys, uh, as I said, I, I've been sick, so it's been harder for me. It's been really hard just for me to record longer videos because my voice just doesn't hold up so uh, let's go ahead and get right into Devin Booker When we talk about Devin Booker's base, the number one thing is he's very stiff, and when he elevates, he elevates with his legs straight forward, and he goes straight up and down on that elevation. He really lands in the same spot with a certain stiffness, and I think that's what we struggled with the last time, just trying to get a base for Booker that really captured that stiffness where he elevates in the same spot but we've got a good one for him this time Now, when we start talking about Devin Booker's release, this is something that I started to notice during the NBA Finals. There was really two things that I really didn't do a good job of on the first shot. Number one, I realized that Devin Booker has a really quick release. We know that, but one thing I noticed too from the NBA Finals, we really did a much better job this time getting that hand placement where it needs to be. Booker has been shooting with a much higher release point but look at that right arm it's still almost at a 90 degree angle and it's that elbow is still tucked in so that's what we were trying to capture we we're trying to basically keep everything from the first jumper but number one we wanted to capture a little bit of a higher release point and we also wanted to make sure that we could keep that elbow tucked in again we, we have no problems with a higher release point we just want to make sure that he's not shooting over his head and with this shot just the overall stiffness of the base um, and the the overall smoothness of the release i'm very happy with it i think it's a lot better than the one that we came up with for nba 2k 21. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the shot for Devin Booker. We go with the Dante Exum base blended with release 12 to give us that um, that 90 degree angle on the shooting arm. As you move over, we stuck with the same free throw from 2K21. But this time we're going to go with the Nate Robinson pull up. And this is where most of the changes are from last year. We go with the Nate Robinson pull up. The reason we do that is because it keeps that high release point on his pull ups. We really like that. Uh, the spin jumper um it's got a nice you know extension to it so we go with pro um we basically mirrored this from 2k21 it just has a different name um but for the step back this is where we do something a little bit different we're gonna go with basic two the reason we go with basic two is because when booker does his step back he doesn't fade he actually hops forward on his step back so that's something that we were trying to capture we had to pick the one in 2k22 that has that animation unfortunately they took the one from 2k21 out i did like it better but it is what it is i still like basic two as you go into the layup package you know this year i actually went with default swing i just liked a lot of the animations a little bit better this year for booker um you know looking at the footage i just thought they were a little bit smoother than default small so you can keep it a default small i think they're both accurate but i really like default swing for a lot more guys this year um we did not change his dunk packages so these are all the same from our 2k21 signature shot um as we go to the the post game we do have a few post fades from booker the moral of the story is he keeps his legs um stiff and there's not a huge kick going to either side um, we did not change his post hook and he also this year has his own post 
top shot so i'm gonna stick with it i really like it um as we go over to the handles that's all it's it's basically what we were trying to replicate last year they have built into the game now so we go ahead and stick with the devin booker signature combos and the signature size up for booker and that's going to do it guys for uh this small signature short slash edit slash upgrade um really wanted to get this one out to you guys i'm sorry i couldn't get murray done i just my voice would not hold up while i was trying to record that video but as soon as i get better uh, we'll get right back on track with our polls 